Oh, brothers and sisters, it's Dr. Michael Moorcock here. Praise the Lord, brothers and sisters. Praise be his name. And I ask you for a Boaz anointment. I ask God to give you a Boaz anointment in your life. May he bless you because if it's in your hand and you release it to God, heaven will give it back tenfold. It says it in the Bible. Are you ready to sow your seeds, brothers and sisters? Sow your seeds for Christ. You know, as much as I know, that a thousand dollars can't even buy you a sofa these days. Not even a box spring. But you may have one thousand dollars tucked under your box spring right now. Saving it up for little Sally's, whatever they call them, braces. You know, you needed a new tire for your car and you were saving up for it. Well, don't do that. Don't get little Sally any braces. Don't get the new tire and the new rim for your car. Praise the Lord and sow your seed. Call us right now under this number. Right there's the number. And you call and we will take your seed and we will release it unto the Lord and the Lord will open his hand and give it right back to you. Because God taketh and God giveth back. God taketh away and God giveth back. You have the seed. You have it clutched in your hand. The whole seed, nothing but the seed. I, for help you, God, and release the seed from your hand. Release the seed from the other hand. And if you didn't release enough seed, release it. Release it unto you. Release the seed into that soil. You know, if you release the seed, it will be harvested. The fruit will grow from many limbs. You will know what happened by the time you wake up. Maybe next month, maybe tomorrow. You will have more than you giveth. And the Lord hath taketh, and I have giveth. And then I'm the middle man that deals with the money and gives it to the poor. Yes, I do. So if you sow your seed for Jesus, and you call right now, it's a radical, it's a faithful call. Call now and sow your seed, $1,000 seed to Jesus Christ Almighty. Send your seed right now, brothers and sisters, before it's too late. Let that seed go from your hand. Don't hold on to it. Don't clutch on to the seed. If you clutch on to the seed, it becomes sterile seed. Let it go. Send the seed to me. I will give the seed to Jesus. Jesus will give the seed back to you tenfold. It's as easy as that, brothers and sisters. And the seed that you release will come back to you and break the back of poverty forever and ever and ever. You will never be poor again. And if you like giving the seed once, Give the seed back again. Give the seed back a third time, a fourth time. Instead of a thousand dollars seed, send ten thousand dollars seed. Yes, to Michael Warcock, campground meeting. Praise Jesus. He will honor your seed and produce a harvest for you. Jehovah Jireh, my son, come in my life, Jesus, and make these people happy in the sinful life they leave, and bring them back to the justice of the Lord. Preach the Lord, Jehovah, Jehovah Jireh. It's a miracle. It's a miracle money you're going to send them, the poor people of the world, people that don't have a stitch of clothes, but if they can somehow, you know, scratch up a thousand dollars for Jesus, then they're going to be all right. It's going gonna, it's gonna to be all right. Brothers and sisters, it says it in the Bible. I don't really know how much more I can say than that. Sow that seed, and it will come back to you. It will come back to you tenfold, brothers and sisters. Tenfold. Let go of the seed. Let go of the seed, brothers and sisters. Let it fling. Let it go into the soil. Because the quicker your seed reaches the soil, the quicker the harvest will grow. <laughs>
a thousand people watching tonight around the world that God wants to work a miracle in your life. A thousand people that God is speaking to right now to get up and go to your phone and sow a seed to bring about a harvest in your life. You know, when you ask God for a harvest, He'll ask you for a seed. Your seed is your bridge to your future. Your seed is something that you have that can create something that you need. Your seed is precious. And God says that when we sow it, He'll multiply it back to us. Good measure, pressed down, shaken together and running over. Get up and go to your phone tonight. I know that God is speaking to a thousand people. Some of you are sitting there and you're wondering and you're waiting and you're saying, I'm not sure. Trust God. Take God at His word. Take a step of faith. One thing's for certain, the enemy will never encourage you to take a step of faith. The enemy will never encourage you to sow a seed into the kingdom to believe a, for a harvest in your life. He's the one who comes to kill and to steal and to destroy. But I believe the Holy Spirit is speaking to people all over the earth right now. For a thousand people right now to get up and be a part of a miracle in your life. That this will be the day that you'll mark down in your calendar. This will be, as Dr. Murdoch has said, the poorest day of your life. Why? Because you'll learn how to break the vow of poverty over your life with a thousand dollar seed. As you begin to sow thousand dollar seeds. This is not going to be the only time you're going to do it. I believe you're going to look back on tonight and say, this was the first time I did it. And when I sowed that seed the first time, I saw the hand of God move in my life.